Hey everybody, it's First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. 11 a.m. advisory just came in for Hurricane Dorian. So let me get right to the details. I'm going to try to make this a shorter video because now we're kind of all hands on deck as this thing approaches the Carolinas and likely makes landfall. A couple things to notice today. The storm is changing a little bit. This is anticipated as it kind of weakens a hair and gets influenced by this trough. If you notice, very broad eye-like feature. It's never going to get small and tight again, but it will stay large like this as it kind of meanders. The one thing about this setup, as the eye wall gets larger, the wind field expands and it's actually going to get much bigger. So the wind field is going to expand. Even though the winds here may be around 100, 105, the 75 mile hour winds are going to spread out quite a bit um, over time. Now, this wider view really shows you a lot here because if you look at it, look at the outflow streaming up in this direction. That's a sign that it's being influenced by that trough. So when you see all of those clouds going that way, these often lead you to the direction it's going. The problem is this churn is going to be painfully close to the North and South Carolina coast. In fact, now the forecast track takes it as a landfall in Eastern North Carolina. I'm gonna show you that updated track here um, as I bring in my other map here. Let me turn off the current temperatures. We don't really need to see that. A couple things to notice here. You see the forecast track takes it up to now around Charleston by tomorrow morning, very close to Myrtle Beach um, by Friday or Thursday night into Friday morning. Friday 0Z is 8 p.m. Thursday night and then a landfall somewhere in Carteret County right around the Moorhead City area you can see right there on Friday morning and then it is long gone in fact it's all the way up here by Saturday morning so it's going to be flying but the landfall location is going to be somewhere right in there um, in eastern North Carolina and parts of South Carolina so there's a good chance we're going to see a landfall in those locations let's take a look at the radar real quickly here because we got a really wide radar view and we noticed in the last couple of frames <coughs> excuse me that the storm is now moving more north than northwest so it looks like it's making that slow but steady churn to the north northeast and we saw that in a lot of the visible image as well um, you can see it's kind of stopped the westerly momentum and now it's drifting to the north I would say it's almost due north right now, but we'll have to see what the hurricane hunter said. They were just out there, and you can see um, pressure is 967 millibars. But what's interesting is, let me bring up this map real quickly, is the last couple of forecast plots have had, actually had it drifting to the north a little bit and making that churn, and then you can see the landfall in eastern North Carolina. I've got all the the watches and warnings turned on, um, which I'm going to turn off here in a minute so it's not as clustered. Um, but you can see that track taking it right up there and clipping eastern North Carolina. Now, word of caution, way ahead of the storm, you're going to see storm surge coming up before the winds come up. So water will rise much quicker than the winds coming up in a lot of these locations as it pushes to the north and east. And just to show you the guidance, this is the latest model showing the track. And notice how they're clustered right there. Parker's Island area. You see where they're clustered together right in here. So there could be a landfall very close to Wilmington or more likely Carteret County and then maybe another one in the Outer Banks. So there might be three landfall locations um, within this track as it moves up through the Carolinas. So that's what we're watching right now. I'm going to do shorter updates here probably more frequently um, as we get closer, but now is the time to prepare. Category 2 hurricane likely going to make landfall in North or South Carolina. And again, the impacts could be pretty dramatic as far as surge and wind as it moves up the coast. Let me quickly show you the winds coming up through the Charleston area. And look at the time at the top of your screen. You see the hurricane force winds in Charleston by tomorrow morning near Myrtle Beach by about 3 p.m. Near Wilmington, midnight tomorrow. And then towards the Outer Banks early Friday morning, that's when the landfall, probably multiple landfalls as it crosses over islands and then moves off to the east. So that's what I'm going to do for now. I will do more updates this afternoon, a little bit shorter ones. We'll do more frequently as we keep an eye on Hurricane Dorian.